Fear, division, distraction, and truth. One of these is not like the other. Hey everybody, this is Tyler the Crockpot Farmer and you're watching another edition of The Chill Pill. The reason I started calling these The Chill Pill is because I think what I'm going to try and do with this is to help encourage people to stop freaking out over what they hear and see on the news and whatnot nowadays. There is so much stuff flying around out there, it is so easy to get worked up and to start freaking out about things, and I just don't want people to be panicking all of the time. I apparently was pretty good at, at helping people to stop panicking while I was in Ottawa, so I think I will try and continue because the amount of nonsense we're dealing with has not diminished at all. So, you are what you eat, and the same goes for the media and the things that you hear and the things that you see as well. Um, everybody has heard that stress and anxiety are not good for you. They're utterly really bad for your immune system. You can actually get sick, physically sick, by worrying and stressing out too much. So we don't need to be doing that nonsense. We really need to reduce the amount of garbage that we're bringing into our brains because it literally is killing us. So why is there so much crap out there? Why are the news companies so biased? And I say all of them because you have this side and this side, and they're both really just as bad. There's a lot more of these than there are of these ones. But anyways, why are they so biased? Well, I'm biased. I'm a person. I'm an individual. I have opinions about what I see. And that goes through the filter of how I was brought up and how I think. And then out comes my opinion. And so I want to impose that opinion on other people. And some people have much, much larger platforms for doing that than others do. That's one reason why they're a little bit biased. They're also driven, they're a business. They're driven by reviews and some of them by subsidies. So they're businesses too. So they have to make money, and how they make money is by views and by advertising. And you keep the views up by having people constantly tuning back in to hear things. So if you tell them there's a big story happening and everything's going down and things are going to be ending and things are awful and it's an absolute disaster, you're going to be tuning in constantly to get updates. You're going to be worried about it all the time. You're going to be driven to try to follow the story. And so that's what they do because there's not a lot of sensationalism in facts. They're kind of boring. It's okay, yep, that's happened over there. Sounds good. But if they say, oh, that's happening over there because this person's terrible and this person's terrible and it's going to cause this massive thing for your life, we think. You're going to pay attention to that and go, oh my goodness, crap. And you're going to continue to keep watching, which is what they need. They need you to watch so you can make money from advertising and those kind of things. Now, there are also some media corporations that are government subsidized because they are public corporations. So they're subsidized, so then, of course, the government can use them to do whatever they want with them. Anyways, the government can use the media to distract you from something going on. Once we had left Ottawa, and there were the other uh, protests and stuff were dealt with and had kind of died down, there was a massive story across the pond popped up all of a sudden. And you'll see this happen all the time. There'll be one major crisis, and when it starts to die down, another one will pop up somewhere else while one is being dealt with. Or when something that say the government doesn't really want people to know, like if they're passing some certain laws or doing some questionable things, there will be a big story somewhere and it will be blown out of the water. Just as totally opportune moment to be able to distract people from what they're trying to push through. This happens all the time. It is not fiction. It is something that happens all the time. The government uses the media to distract them, to allow them to get things through. It happens. So how do you tell the difference between facts and narrative? Well, it's actually kind of simple. You see, facts should not leave you worried. Facts should leave you pondering, going, hmm, I wonder what the implications of this are going to be. I wonder if that is true, those kind of things. But a story and a narrative will leave you going, oh my goodness, that is such a terrible person, or that's a terrible place, or holy crap, the sky is falling, something along those lines. A narrative and a sensationalized story will leave you worried. It will give you overwhelming senses of emotions. That's something that facts should not do. You also need to consider the source. There are some particular media companies on both sides are really, really good at finding stories that suit their narrative. So you, you should be able by now to know which ones are going to be spewing what kinds of things and what to expect with them, expect from them, and know what to do with their stories. Do you believe everything they say? Do you take it and go, well, it's probably half true. You need to try to check multiple sources too to try to see if everybody lines up. Things are going to happen no matter how much you worry about them. If there's something you can do to change something, then go out and do something to change it. If that means running for office, or that means going to a protest or something, go and do something productive, but sitting at home worrying about it isn't going to accomplish anything. You cannot think straight while you're panicking. So if you're ingesting so much garbage that you're constantly panicking, you cannot make rational decisions, you can't have rational arguments, you cannot go and rationally find the truth. It's the same as people say, don't make a decision while you're angry, don't make a decision while you're panicking. It is not a good idea.